Gun. Bye. I, I, I swear. I, we're, we're, inter- okay, let me, let me explain this real quick. We're not interrupting to be rude. I know I do it all the time. There are reasons for this, and there are reasons because if we're in disagreement on a point or a definition and we let it go on and on and on, then we have to come back to it, and then it becomes, oh, that's not what I said or not what I meant. So right, right. this, this is why we have to do this, and I, I presented an analogy, which you agreed to, and we're trying to explain how it's exactly or how it's analogous to the situation you're describing. But basically, you're, you're stepping through premises, and we're interrupting you after you've got through your first premise because we don't accept it. And yeah. you may see it as rudeness, but it's actually but I will courtesy. Stop. It's to say. I, I, I will stop. I will stop, Greg. I will stop, and I'll let my other two gentlemen here, who are far more polite, address the rest of this. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's. So. So. Continue. I mean. So. So. You like. You said we we cut you off. Where were you going? Okay. So what I was saying is that we have a separate we have a separate fact for this, and then we say, well, the resurrection. There's no other theory. The the, the most probabilistic explanation is the resurrection for this. Okay. And that, right. Uh, and so so a moment ago you said, um, I haven't just proved that the resurrection was possible. I'm trying to prove that it's probable you haven't proved that it's possible at all and you can't make that next step i mean how can you can you can you present an argument to show me that that the resurrection of a, of a human being is possible okay so so all right let's all right let's back off so you see this is what happens you have to you have to you have to back up all right the only way you can the only way you can show that the supernatural is improbable to the degree that or at least to the degree possible, then you would have to show. Then you would have to show that God's existence is implausible, or His intervention in the world implausible. And this was actually, I think, from reasonable faith. Yep, that that that's correct. So it's it's absolutely correct that in order to 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 prove that the supernatural is is uh, is false, you'd have to prove that whatever the source of the supernatural is is also false. But I'm not trying to prove that. All right, so then we can at least establish that the supernatural is possible. No. And we have good historical evidence to suggest that a supernatural event has occurred. So we can't just say, oh, supernatural event. Like, when, once we have the possibility, that's not it. But And then we have historical evidence for the supernatural claim. Then we can establish a, philosoph- a philosophical and historical, um, at least to a degree, probabilistic. We can well, probabilistically say that it's most likely true, the, the, the given look, the given. It, of- it's it's very well it's very well put together. It's very very well rehearsed from 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 the from the basis of the idea that we have to accept that there's a supernatural element. But but you're beginning with and and you're still doing the same thing, which is you're saying that there's no good reason to think that the supernatural is impossible. None of us are claiming that. Not not a single one of us here is claiming that it is impossible for supernaturalism to be true. And so what we're admitting there, of course, is that it's possible. It's one of many options that that can account. For the, for the fact, if we're going to accept it, that the tomb is empty or that Houdini's ropes are by themselves and he's not there. Right. So one possibility is that he, he did it via, he escaped via supernatural means. It's possible that the supernatural did it. I'm just concerned and I'm just interested in what's more probable. We, we've essentially got a, a precisely analogous situation with Houdini because Houdini has, has done something which uh, to, to our modern eyes would seem like a magic trick. And we've got two explanations. It, it, it could have been supernatural or it could be naturalistic. There could be either of those explanations. And it's precisely the same thing with the empty tomb. There could be a natural explanation. There could be a supernatural explanation. You're the one coming and claiming that there's a supernatural explanation. We're not claiming, uh, we're not claiming either way. So we're not, we're not saying that the supernatural is impossible or even improbable. That, that's not a claim that we're making. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is, again, the burden of proof in some sense is actually since we've since we need to understand how the supernatural is impossible. No, again, have... I have to stop you. I've just I I just said three times, we are not saying that the supernatural is impossible, and you said or impossible or, impo- or none, impossible. None of that. We're not saying any of that. And then you say, okay, in order to establish that that the supernatural is improbable. We haven't said that. We, we have not said anything about the supernatural being improbable or impossible. You're injecting that. And when you inject right. that... That's the thing. I understand. But all I'm, all I'm playing on is the fact that I would say that the supernatural 
is to, to the degree it's at least possible. We, so, we've admitted this clearly. It is possible. So, so I did not. Okay. So yeah, I, 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 also, okay. I, I also wouldn't need to, to, to actually grant that, that claim at all. Okay, so it, just me. It's, it's, it's all on you. No. you. You just have to show us that it is possible and or probable for the supernatural to exist. It's not on us to prove that it's not the case. And so, yeah. I, I'm saying that it's possible. I'm granting you that. I'm saying it's possible that the, 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 the reason that that has happened has something to do with the supernatural. I think it's improbable. Why? Because we don't see the supernatural anywhere. But I can't rule it out because that's just not the way that knowledge works. So okay, well, call me well, super well, open-minded. We but We don't know that. There have been reported instances of various supernatural events, such as ghosts and stuff like that. We can't entirely yes, rule it out. Yes, but when we verify these things and we look into them, none of them turn out to be supernatural. None of them. So you're, you're supposing that there was a supernatural reason for something, and right. I have no examples of the supernatural Ever. Yeah, and do you, you do you trust that eyewitness testimony? Do you trust the eyewitness testimony of people who've seen UFOs? Okay, we need we need proper evidence that that somehow leads that that okay. leads. And we need proper evidence for your claim. Precisely. And, I, and I'm giving you proper evidence, such as the empty tomb, and we need. No, it's not proper no, no. evidence. You're describing the fact. We need evidence for your claim. Your claim is different from the fact. Yeah, the fact is the, the empty tomb. The claim is the is is why the empty tomb is empty. Or the fact okay. is the ropes that are left. The claim is that he dematerialized and rematerialized in another point. Right. Do you want me to show? Do you want me to show you the evidence for the um the uh the empty tomb? Again? Why we're here. But but I don't. Are you say again as if as if you already have? All, all you seem to have done is produced uh, a, the 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 one you've been pressing most is, is a philosophical case, which is that if the supernatural uh, is improbable, then that would mean the source of the supernatural must be improbable, which I'm not even sure I, is the case. The reason I entered into the philosophical is because um, we kind of got into the philosophical. You said, well, "All right, let's back off for a second. Let's understand. You need to show supernatural. You need to show the supernatural," and that got into a philosophical, contextual background. So, well, you do we need, need to. to you do need to show the supernatural is probable or possible. Right. So now, so now we're getting. So now let's get into this. So now let's get into the historical. So one thing is, um, Justin Martyr wrote and said by Trey for the Jew, chapter one hundred eight, and he said, "Well, the disciples stole him by night," which means that. That that means that it basically implies the empty tomb. So, so since we couldn't, so how do you deal with that? De deal with what? The, the fact that a skeptical the skeptical source Justin Martyr is, who wrote and said by Trifo, the Jude chapter one hundred eight that the disciples. If if you want, I can read it to you. How, I, how do I, you I deal with the people. fact that there's there's people that earnestly write in the Quran? Uh, that um, Muhammad flew to the moon on a winged horse. How do you deal with the fact that there are ropes on the ground after Houdini's escape? Yeah. That's not what we're interested in. We're interested in why this thing occurred and how it, and how it occurred. Well. Separate explanation. If, does, the, does Muhammad's case flying to the moon have his proper historical evidence? Does Houdini's so-called, um, like if you were to have a conspiracy theory about Houdini, Houdini? I have video of Houdini escaping from things. So first of all, you're, you're citing Justin Martyr, who was born even another 70 year, 50 years after Tacitus. Right. So, we, we will grant you an empty tomb even. He was the born, issue is what is the explanation for the empty tomb? That's all that we were addressing. Right. So can you come up, so can you come up with a more probabilistic explanation of the empty tomb than the resurrection? Uh, yes. Like, give me an example. Aliens from another planet with natural technology that could beam him out is almost definitionally more probable than the supernatural. But I will retract all of that so that we don't go down that road and say, no, we can't give you a more probable explanation, but you haven't demonstrated that you have even a probable explanation. I, I won't go that far. I, I, if, but just, I, just being I, straight, I just, I just can't go that far. Yeah, me neither. You're asking me to say it's more probable that a supernatural event occurred than many, many, many different natural events. I, ca I just cannot get that far. And I, I, it, I'm the, the only reason I go that far is because mm. our absence of an explanation for the empty tomb tells us nothing about whether your proposed explanation is likely, probable, plausible, or true. Right, so... 
so all right again so with the supernatural we just we you have to show why it is impossible no we don't i, 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 don't, think, I don't think we're getting uh, Greg, it we are um yeah we're I, going in circles i appreciate I really the do. time but we're yeah. getting nowhere um yeah. maybe right, maybe yeah, yeah. it was yeah. a pleasure speaking with you maybe maybe listen back to this and see what you can you can ascertain out uh, from it Definitely. Uh, it's, thank you for the sign. I was a little nervous. Sorry. No, no, you, you, you didn't you, sound you, nervous at all. You did absolutely fine. It's thank just, you for it's your just time. yeah, th th there's a frustrating thing of going in a circle with the same thing every time. Of course. You need to show that the supernatural isn't possible. No, we don't. Yeah. Just like I don't need to show that it's impossible for Houdini to dematerialize. Uh, I don't, I actually think that both impossibility and possibility need a demonstration. That you, you would need to demonstrate something is possible, something isn't. Mm. There's a difference between philosophical possibility and epistemic possibility. And so the fact that we can't show something is impossible doesn't mean it is possible. But on a philosophical level, we could say, okay, here's possible explanations. And they can be as ridiculous as we want. Oh, uh, uh, God did it. A, you know, Pixies did it. Uh, there's some you know, magical stone in a gauntlet that lets you do those sorts of things. The problem is, is that even after listening to those, what we really are looking for is let's make a list of plausible candidate explanations and then try to figure out which one's most plausible. And even then, we're not making a proclamation that, that the explanation is true or that it is reasonable to accept that it's true. Because yep. the right explanation, you just may not have evidence for. Yep, it's a simple issue of burden of proof. And we were just, we were just going around in circles, uh, and it's a yeah. shame. Uh, it's okay. So we've, we've hit the 6 o'clock time, but thankfully, our producers have said we can run over and we're not taking any more calls, but there are four in the queue and we can clear out the queue and do those. So we'll try and hit those in a, in a reasonable process here. All right. Um, let's go to Jeff in California about religious freedom bills. Thanks for waiting. Oh, thank you. Okay, yeah. I um, wanted to address a prior show that she had called Re Religion, Freedom Bills in Texas. And it was 